everyone. Welcome back to Movie Review Mom if you're a subscriber and welcome if you are new to my channel. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific film. But today, I'm not doing a movie review, I'm doing a movie trailer reaction. So we're gonna watch the movie trailer for Disenchanted together and uh, decide if we think that this is gonna be good or not. Fingers crossed that it's good. The first Enchanted movie with Amy Adams came out and immediately became a beloved classic, really. It was so cute, so fun, so adorable. So I'm hoping for more of the same. Now, Adam Shankman came out almost four years ago saying that this movie is going to have more musical numbers and about the same amount of animation as the first one. This new one comes out November 18th. Super excited. Okay, but before we watch the trailer, let me tell you what the story is, the plot that they're advertising for this, and maybe that'll help us also to understand what's happening in the trailer. So 10 years after her happily ever after, Giselle, Robert, and Morgan move to a new house in the suburb of Monroeville with their newest addition, a baby. The community is overseen by Malvina Monroe, who has nefarious intentions for the sweet family. When problems arise, Giselle wishes that their lives were the perfect fairy tale. The spell backfires with Giselle rushing to save her family in her homeland of the kingdom of Andalasia before the clock strikes midnight. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Let's watch this. Ready? Here we go. I know the change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. If I learned anything from meeting a princess on a billboard is that sometimes you just have to take a leap. Let's start our new life. Pretty soon this whole place will feel like home you'll see. It's all part of the adventure. That's not an adventure, that's a landfill. A land filled with adventure. Oh, it's what they call a fixer-upper. Yes, once your peasants have dug out the moat and added a turret and a balcony from which you can sing. I see it now. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Melvina, Monroe, I would have sold you this house, but I deal in slightly more upscale homes. Oh. In Andalasia, the hardest part of life is finding your happily ever after. This world's very different. If this world is not to your liking, then you must change it. I wish. Tell life and it's all gone terribly wrong. Or terribly right. At the last stroke of 12, nothing will be as it was before. Stepmother! Uh-oh. Oh, Giselle, what have you done? <laughs> That's a wicked. Wicked good. <gasps> All right, what did you think? It looks very magical, doesn't it? It looks like it's going to be very fun. I hope. Fingers crossed. So did you notice, by the way, at the very beginning, it said Disney 100. That's the new branding that we're going to see on all of the new Disney movies that are coming out for who knows for how long, maybe until they get to 110, 125, I don't know. Isn't that amazing that it's been 100 years? Now, I know a lot of people are frustrated with Disney because they seem to be uh, really bending to the whole woke agenda and people just want clean, family-friendly movies. So we're going to see, I didn't 
see anything like that in this movie. But I know a lot of people are leaving Disney and not supporting Disney because of that. So I still love Disney. In fact, our family is going to Disneyland in just a few weeks. And so I'm super excited about that. So another thing I'm super excited about is the cast that's returning. Of course, we have the incredible, beautiful, and talented Amy Adams, who just sparkles and also and her love interest and now husband Patrick Dempsey and James Marsden who's hilarious Maya Rudolph who is appears to be the evil one and Adina Menzel of course is returning and man do I hope they give her some songs to sing I was disappointed in the first one that here we have this incredible talent and she doesn't get to do much. And so I'm hoping that they really utilize her talents and her gorgeous voice. We also get to see Yvette Nicole Brown as a sidekick of some sorts, Oscar Nunez, who's always hilarious as a sidekick. So I'm excited. I think we've got all of the right pieces. It'll all boil down, I think, maybe to the plot because the talent is here and uh, the script just better be good. So here are a few little fun facts about this movie. It was actually under development since 2010. That's a really long time ago. They say that filming was done in Ireland, but it's supposed to look like New York City, which I think is so interesting. Another fun fact is that the original movie that was released in 2007 came out around Thanksgiving time, and this new sequel is also going to be coming out around Thanksgiving time. I love the movies in November and December because it's they're, they're always fantastic. And of course, you throw in some of the Oscar buzz on top of all of them. And so it's great movie viewing season. Another thing that I'm excited about is to just hear Alan Tudyk. He's going to be voicing that book that we saw in the trailer. And this will mark his fifth time voicing a Disney character. Another character I'm excited to see is Jayma Mays. Uh, fans of Glee will remember her. And she was in Glee, of course, with Idina Menzel. So I'm interested to see what her character is all about, what she's going to do. I really like her. So I'm happy that she's in a feature film. All right. And then finally, take a look at that poster. I think it looks good. It looks magical. You can clearly see who the evil villain is and some of the er other characters' faces. So again, I'm super excited. I think everybody is hopeful that it's going to be just as charming and wonderful, maybe even better than the first one. We sure could use a really great Disney sequel. All right. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. And I will definitely be watching this and do a movie review to let you know what I think once it comes out, or hopefully I'll get a press screener before it comes out so I can give you the scoop. Thanks so much for all of your support. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and that like button if you haven't done so already. And if you have, Thank you. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.